So let's imagine we want to create a table like this. In the first row, we have ABC. In the second row, we have DEF. Then in the third row, we have GHI. So in total, we have nine table datas. But let's go ahead and see how it's done in the code. So to create a table, the overall structure of the table is created using the table tag. And that table tag will contain the rows. And in each row, we will have the data. So now we have our table tag, the opening and closing tag. The way data is arranged in HTML is by rows. So we have our first row and we list all the data in that row. Then we go to the next row. We create another row, put in the data and then we go on like that. So to create the first row of data, we create the table row tag. The table row tag is just TR for short. In HTML, we didn't need to write table row. So everyone knows that this means table row. Within the table row, we have the data. So I create the table data tag and within the table data, I put in the actual data. So we are done with the first row. We are creating another row. And within the second row, we also have D, E, F. All that is surrounded by the table data tag. So now we have the first row and the second row. Currently, when we look at it on the web browser, you will see the first row on top and the second row below automatically. The browser will render it like that. So let's take a look at it. You can see A, B, C, D, E, F. We can, of course, beautify the table to have borders and a little bit of style. We will do that even though currently we're not teaching styling, but there's a way we can quickly handle that. I'll share the code for you. Don't bother too much about what it means. So this is the styling code and it will add a border and structure to the table. So as you can see now, there's a structure and the letters are divided. In case I want to remove this double border, if you notice, there is a double line between each letter. I can add the border collapse attribute to the style and it becomes a simple border. Like I said, when we get into CSS, it will make sense. But I will share the code for that. Now let's go ahead to the third row and input our data G. Now let us go back to the web browser to see how it looks. The browser adds each letter one at a time. Because the last row has only one data, the data is put in the first and the rest are left blank. So for now, let's add the remaining two, H and I, to complete the table. And now we have our complete table. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. There's a lot more we can do with tables to make it more presentable. But this is just a basic structure. I can increase the font size in the styles to make it appear bigger so that I don't have to be zooming in. But all that is just styling. The basic structure of the table has been done. So go try this out. You'll see the code shared with you.